anything about the evolution of the Romanian-Greek relation of the political, cultural and economic traditional relation. Uh, thank you very much. First of all, allow me to congratulate Edgar Press for this uh, initiative. And uh, secondly, allow me also to extend my deep condolences to the Romanian people and the government over the sad loss of two Romanian soldiers yesterday in Afghanistan. Coming to your question, I would say that, uh, uh, as you know, bilateral relations between Romania and Greece are excellent. Um, uh, nevertheless, uh, both sides are taking initiatives in order to promote these relations further in all fields, uh, political, diplomatic uh, and economic as well. Uh, you know that we are both members of a series of international organizations like the EU, NATO and others where our cooperation is excellent, but we also try to improve uh, further our relation, especially in the economic field, which is going to be to the benefit of both sides. When we talk about uh, the opportunities to intensify the bilateral political dialogue between Romania and Greece, leaving aside their being members of the European Union. That's a very good question and uh, I think that uh, Romania and Greece are typical examples of countries which, despite the fact of being members of the European Union, try to have uh, intense bilateral, uh, um, let's say, contacts. And uh, I'm happy to tell you, for instance, that uh, by the end of next month we're going to have here uh, the Joint Economic uh, Committee, which is going to examining uh, a huge, uh, let's say, uh, field of uh, possible economic relations. And this is going to be, uh, let's say, a step which uh, is going to be to the benefit of both sides, as I told you before. Indeed, uh, if I may, I would say that uh, economic relations between Romania and Greece are, uh, let's say, uh, always Im improving. And uh, despite the crisis uh, in Greece, uh, still Greek investors come here and uh, open their businesses in uh, a safe and stable environment, being happy from their uh, investments. I could tell you that uh, even during the crisis, more than 1,000 new Greek companies have invested in Romania, and I think that this is a strong indicator of uh, the good, let's say, re economic uh, uh, relations between the two countries. What do you think about the uh, traditional friendly relation between uh, the two Orthodox churches and peoples? You put it uh, very uh, rightly. It is true that uh, Orthodoxy uh, unites the two people, um, and it is something that uh, both churches uh, know and try to cultivate. And uh, myself, I had already paid an official visit to uh, the uh, Romanian Patriarch, and I understood that um, uh, the two churches, the Greek Church and the uh, Romanian Patriarchate, are cooperating very well in all religious uh, matters. And uh, I think that uh, this uh, cooperation can uh, provide also uh, benefits to uh, bringing the two peoples closer. Mr. Ambassador, um, can you talk to us about the activity and the rights of the Greek community, which is represented by uh, the Greek Union of Romania? Um, I must tell you that uh, one of uh, the fields in which uh, Greece uh, remains in the uh, souls of Romanians is uh, the cultural events, the cultural heritage, yeah, inheritance. And uh, it is true that uh, the Union of Greeks of Romania is doing a very good job in preserving the cultural traditions of uh, Greece in this country, which is, uh, has been always very friendly to the Greek presence here. Uh, can you talk about uh, investment priorities in Romania? Yes, I've already started talking, uh, talking about this. And I must tell you that I am very happy that uh, more and more Greek investors come and invest in Romania. Uh, despite the fact that uh, there is, as you know, an economic crisis in Greece, from which uh, now we are starting to, to exit, um, there has been no stop in uh, Greek investors coming to, to Romania over the last three, four years and um, increase their investments here. I uh, have talked with them and they tell, they tell me that they are uh, really happy to act in a safe and stable environment and uh, they will uh, keep uh, continuing doing so.
can uh, we talk us about the Frontex? The Frontex program is uh, a very positive uh, European initiative uh, which uh, tends to protect the borders of the European Union from the illegal immigration. As you may know, Greece over the last year has received more than 90% of the illegal inflows and uh, Frontex um, uh, has helped us very much in order to advert this phenomenon and uh, Romania, as you know, uh, has uh, offered many people into the Frontex uh, <coughs> operation and uh, on that occasion I wish to thank our Romanian friends for this offer. Can you think about the priorities of Greece, uh, which will uh, hold the presidency of the European Union in the first six months of uh, next year? Yes, Greece is taking the presidency <coughs> um, as of uh, January 2014 and uh, will keep it for the next uh, six months. As you may understand, um, in um, a context uh, when the economic crisis, uh, not only in the South, but let's say all over Europe, is the most important uh, thing, uh, the, Europe, the Greek presidency would not um, overlook into that fact. So the main priorities are connected to, to this uh, reality. So we are going to, uh, let's say, concentrate ourselves um, in, uh, let's say, um, four uh, uh, areas. The first is uh, uh, the growth, uh, jobs uh, and uh, cohesion. Uh, you may understand very easily that these are all combined. We cannot have growth without uh, creating jobs and we don't have social cohesion without fighting uh, the unemployment, which as you know has hit many countries, above all Greece, so we are trying to concentrate ourselves there. The second uh, target uh, is to further, uh, let's say, um, um, uh, strengthen the integration of European Union in the Eurozone. This is necessary because it's going to be connected uh, with uh, the uh, consolidation of the uh, monetary uh, union, which is going to be to the benefit uh, of the Eurozone uh, states, members of the EU, and the ones who are not yet members of the Eurozone. Uh, the third priority uh, is going to be uh, the migration, the borders and the mobility of the people. Uh, you know that uh, we also have to uh, manage uh, the, um, uh, inflow, the migrant inflows and we also have uh, to um, uh, help the mobility of the people within the Union in order to have uh, a strong contribution. Uh, to, the, um, uh, to the growth which has to come back to our economies in order uh, to make our peoples uh, happier and uh, make them understand that the European Union is, uh, the principles of the European Union is uh, to the benefit of uh, the European peoples. And um, the last one, which is a new one, is the maritime policies, uh, which uh, comes out from the fact that Greece, as you know very well, uh, is a traditional, uh, uh, let's say, a maritime uh, country, having strong experience from uh, uh, the sources and the richness that come from the sea. And uh, we are very optimistic that we're going to provide a new horizontal thematic to the uh, uh, European Union's policies.